Hello everyone. Welcome to this video. In the previous video, we learned about the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. In this video, we will see some interesting examples based on it. Check whether there is any value of n for which 7 raised to the power n ends with digit 0. We know that if a number ends with 0, it will be divisible by 10. So, we can say that if the number 7 raised to the power n ends with the digit 0, then it will be divisible by 10. This means that 7 raised to n should have 2 and 5 among its prime factors. Is it possible? No, this is not possible because if we look at the prime factorization of 7, we get only 1 and 7. So, the uniqueness of the fundamental theorem of arithmetic guarantees that there are no other primes, that is, 2 and 5, in the factorization of 7 raised to the power n. Based on this, we can say that there is no natural number which has the power of 7 raised to n whose last digit is 0. Let us look at another example. The HCF and LCM of two numbers A and B are 51 and 4335 respectively. If A is equal to 255, find the value of B. Can you guess how the value of B can be found? We learned in our previous video that the product of two positive integers and the product of their HCF and LCM is always the same. Now, if we substitute these values given in the question in this formula and solve them, Hence, the value of B will be 867. In this video, we have seen an example based on the fundamental theorem of arithmetic and observed the relationship between two positive integers and their HCF and LCM. Hopefully, you have understood the fundamental theorem of arithmetic and its use.